Hello and welcome to France My Cat. I'm Louise Hanna. We begin, of course, in the Middle East, where Gilad Shalit is spending his first night at home for five years. The 25-year-old Israeli soldier was released on Tuesday morning by Palestinian hardliners Hamas, who'd been keeping him captive in the Gaza Strip. He's been freed in exchange for more than 1,000 Palestinian prisoners. Well, France has also received a stern warning from Moody's. It could lose its prized AAA status. The agency has said it may downgrade the country, claiming the government's financial strength has weakened. It's a shot against the bow of Europe's second largest economy and has reignited fears that a solution to the zone's debt crisis is still a long way off. Well, more economic woe in Europe, this time in Greece. A national 48-hour strike has started on Wednesday and is set to bring the country to a grinding halt. Unions are demonstrating against severe austerity measures demanded by international lenders in return for a multi-billion euro bailout. Meanwhile, Prime Minister George Papandreou has appealed to his party's MPs to unite and vote through the plans on Wednesday. Staying with Europe, Spain has once again fallen foul of a credit rating agency. Moody's became the latest to downgrade its debt by two notches, following a similar move by Standard & Poor's just days ago. Now, captured or killed, US Secretary of State Hillary Clinton has said she doesn't mind which is used to bring down Muammar Gaddafi. She made the candid remarks on a surprise visit to Tripoli on Tuesday to pledge the US's support to rebuilding Libya. And heightened tension in the east of Africa. On Tuesday, a suicide bomber exploded a car in Somalia's capital Mogadishu, close to where two Kenyan ministers were meeting. This is Nairobi's military continues to advance into its neighbour in a bid to clamp down on the Al-Shabaab terrorist network, which it blames for a spate of recent kidnappings. It's left Somali immigrants living in Kenya feeling uneasy, as this France Van Cat report shows. That's all we have time for right now, but we will be back in 20 minutes.